Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, we're actually gonna take the van out for the week for our nine to five. I feel like I need to get out of the house. So my thought process was to just take the van, work out of there, go explore San Diego. I'm probably gonna only do it three out of the five days this week because I have a couple appointments. One is Wednesday and then the other one is Friday. But yeah, I'm excited to take you guys along with me. It is, we are in like a heat wave in the US, so it's pretty hot. So I'm trying to make my way maybe closer to the beach. I am thinking today to head to Torrey Pines and then kind of just drive up along the coast and kind of just try to find a good spot to park, work, and yeah, just take in the van life. Obviously from the intro, you guys saw that we washed our van this weekend. It was actually pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The only thing was we do need a taller ladder just because the van is really, really freaking tall. Also, the pressure washer came in clutch. Um, being able to just soap the whole van before we scrubbed it was really helpful. But yeah, it was pretty easy. The only thing though that kind of sucked was forecast didn't show rain, but literally after we washed the van, it started to sprinkle and then the forecast showed rain on and off for like a couple hours. And so it kind of rained a little bit here and there, but all is good. This morning, I kind of just wiped it down so it looks very clean. Yeah, let's go ahead and head out. I kind of just got to pack my gear. I want to bring some filming essentials with me and just leave it in this container, which by the way, I reached out to this company. They're called Rux and I asked them if they would send me a unit to review. And this is a 70 liter, basically storage unit that is collapsible and it's, it's not a hard shell material, but it is still so sturdy. And I'm going to test it out this week, taking it along with me during our little nine to five van life week. So the reason I reached out to this company was because I am looking for new storage solutions for our van. In a few vlogs back, you saw us pick up a Rubbermaid Action Packer from REI. While I do like it, I feel like it's Having used it for a while now, I feel like it's pretty cumbersome. It's almost the same size as a cooler, and so it just feels big. And so I'm looking for other options to bring our gear along with us to the van, and I found this. Again, it's from a company called Rux, so I will be testing this out, um, and if I like it, I'll let you guys know, but I do have a 10% off code. I will link it in the description. Yeah, thank you Rux for sending this to me. So far, so good. I will talk about the features a little bit later. I just wanted to introduce it to you guys real quick because I'm gonna be using it and packing it. All right, but let's go ahead and pack this guy up and then we'll head out to Tory Pines. I'm gonna bring this drone just in case we get some cool footage. I have my cables with me. Obviously some action cameras. I love how this whole thing fits right here too. Another stick, just in case. I got my tripod, speaker. I'm actually gonna bring a candle. And you know, just gonna have a little vibe in the van. All right, let's show you guys how this looks. So yeah, still a bunch of room in here. Like I can fit so much more, but we're just going for the day. So this is my equipment that I'll probably leave in the van for this week. All right, we are about I want to say 15 minutes from Torrey Pines. Honestly, I don't know where we're, where we're going. I'm just kind of winging it and trying to find a spot along the coast, maybe drive up the one for a little bit, get some scenic views before we work. You guys know me, I'm like an Uber planner, but this van is sort of a way for me to, I don't know, so to speak, unclench and go with the flow. Hopefully it's a good thing for me. All right guys, so we just exited. We we're about to hit Torrey Pines State Beach. It's a little gloomy over here. So I think we're gonna just drive up the coast. All right, so if you guys go left, that takes us to Torrey Pines State Beach, as well as some Torrey Pines hiking trails. But we're gonna go right and kind of just drive along the coast, see if we can find any spots to park at. I already see in the left side, there's a bunch of parking, but kind of just want to explore a little more and see where this takes us. All right guys, so we are just passing Del Mar and we're gonna make our way over to Salat Beach. And if we don't find any spots there, I found one back here that we can go back to, but kind of just want to venture out just a little bit more.
to the original spot that I kind of looked at. <laughs> so we're gonna hunker down right here. I feel like there's some amazing views over there. All right guys, we are finally situated. I have a beautiful view of the beach. Actually, it's really freaking beautiful. I just kind of parked on the side. There was a pay for parking for two hours. Kind of expensive, $6, but I only did two hours because I'm an idiot and forgot my lunch and I'm also fasting. So I don't think I can last longer than two hours. I did bring an apple, thank God, but newbie move. I had this whole thing planned out didn't bring my lunch. There is like some restaurants down the street that I could technically take the scooter to, but I don't know, this is kind of a busy road, so I don't know if I wanna venture off out that way. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up some work. Like I said, I only have two hours, but that should be enough time to finish at least a couple projects. Then before our time's up, I do wanna take you over here. There's like a trail that I'm parked next to because we are literally parked by a cliff. So we'll go look over there and venture out a little bit. So this is gonna be my little workstation. I got this guy charging with my cord up here, my water bottle, and then my view. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... So I totally just remembered that I have a cup of soup in here and even though it's hot, like I, I forgot my lunch and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it. Here's my tiny little kettle. And then here's the ramen. I've been having the AC on now for almost an hour. Let's see where the battery's at. Not bad, we're at 75% battery. With the AC on low. All right, so since I have the AC on, that means I have my inverter on, so this should already work. And the plug is right here. Let's fill this guy with some water. I'm not sure how much I need. I think because I turned this on, the AC turned off. I read that in a couple of forums, so. <laughs> also, we got these cool utensil sets. They are magnetic, so. Just go together like that. Super cool. Forks, butter knife, spoons. Let's go with a orange fork today. All right, we have our ramen right here on a hot summer day. <laughs> oh my God. I turned off the AC because it was super loud and I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna eat and then we're actually gonna take the scooter out. I have about 30 more minutes left for my ticket. So we'll just go up and down the coast real quick, show you guys the beach and then head home. Oh my God, I'm sweating. <laughs> <clears throat> but this came in clutch. I gotta stop my uh... Alright, I am stopping my... Fast. 20 hours. 20 hour fast. So yeah, I've been fasting and I've been really loving it. For a couple reasons. I don't know if I talked about this in another vlog, but I just fasted inadvertently. There was one day where I kind of just didn't eat and then I was like, oh my God, it's been 18 hours since I ate. So I ate and then I was like, well, let me try it one more time. And the next day, same thing. Felt good, had a lot of energy. I'm still able to work out during the mornings. It's not like I'm tired. So I've kind of just been sticking with it and I'm not like super hardcore where every day is 18. Sometimes I won't even fast, but for the majority, I am trying to just do an 18 hour fast daily. 
And I find it's just so convenient because I don't have to think about what I'm eating throughout the day and I can just have like a couple meals and be good. And yeah, I'm, like honestly, I'm, I have more energy fasting, which I did not think would be the case. Yeah, this is um, a veggie ramen that Kim Tai put me on. So good. Finish this. Get the scooter ready and then we'll head down to the beach because I gotta turn the AC on because it is hot. Okay, so I totally forgot that I would show you guys the hiking trail. So let's go there before we go scooter down to the beach. Let's go check out this trail real quick. See the ocean over there. I don't know how this sounds on here, but oh fuck. But I can get used to this working out of the van and just finding some amazing spots. Holy crap. I could have totally took my freaking chair out here and worked. Look at this guys. Wow. What the heck? <clears throat> oh my god. I don't even know if I need to take... I don't think I need to take the uh, scooter out anymore. I'll just fly the drone out here. Wow. Oh my god. I am definitely coming back here. Whoa. Careful though. Oh wow, look at that. Dude, that's amazing. It's so freaking cool. Oh my god. So mad I didn't come here earlier and just take a look. I could have set up my chair out here and just worked. Ah! I'm kind of tempted to get my chair, but we gotta go. Love that I found this spot though. We'll be back, we'll come back. All right guys, we are about to head out for another day, another work nine to five day in the van. I actually had to plug in because when I got home yesterday, my battery was at 70% only. And when I left the area, it was at 60%. So I was kind of surprised that that was the only amount of charge I got on a 30 minute drive. But if you're at home, I have a normal um, house socket converter with this guy. Okay, let's see how much that charged up. I have to get closer to the van. Nice, 100%. Sweet. I charged at 70% at about 7.30, so in an hour or less, it got to 100. Okay, let's head out. Alright guys, so we are headed out again and I want to head out to a beach, 
because I feel like that's where it's cooler. So by the coast. So we're gonna go to Coronado Beach. Hopefully find some free parking. First thing first when we get there is I need coffee. I know there's a cafe at Hotel Del Coronado. So we're gonna take the scooter, get some black coffee, and then start the work day. We decided, yeah, I need to get back to cooler temperatures. And yeah, also I'm trying to look for a spot that is less heavily trafficked. Where I parked yesterday, though the view was absolutely amazing. There was a bunch of cars going down the street, so it didn't really feel super, I don't know, like in nature or I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is if I'm gonna work from my van, I kind of want to feel serene. Otherwise, I should just go to a coffee shop or something. But yeah, we'll, we'll head over to Coronado now. Also, I'm a little bit more prepared today. I brought my shake just in case we need some lunch. I do want to try to find like a nice salad in the area, but if not, we can just drink our shake. Okay, so I think I found a pretty decent parking. The coffee shop is pretty far away, so I'm definitely gonna take the scooter. But let me show you where I parked and my view. So we are basically on the side of the coast of the Coronado Beach. So if you look all the way over there, that's Hotel Del Coronado back over there. And then my view. Pretty awesome. Go get some iced coffee. You're so beautiful, girl. So I didn't think this through and I wasn't sure I could scooter with my coffee so luckily I brought my laptop and just started working out of here. I'm actually almost done with this project so once I'm done with this project we'll pack up and go and finish the work date in the van. But it's cool because I was able to basically push a website live today. So remote working with the van is pretty awesome. Alright I'll check in with you guys when we head back to the van. working out of this van during the summer is that a lot of people are out and about especially in the beach areas everyone is on vacation or taking time off and then also too it's so hot so like obviously if we're not plugged in I'm using the battery for the AC which pretty good I mean it lasts I want to say could last up to five hours if I was really gonna push it or at the same time the, the point of working out of my van is to get the sliding door open have the view be able to sit outside and and enjoy 
the outdoors, right? So when it is so hot and I'm just stuck in the van, it's almost like I might as well just stay home or work at a coffee shop and save the working out of a van when the weather is nicer. I mean, I am enjoying my time working out of the van, but I feel like it's only for like a four hour period. Other than that, I am actually really loving this. I think I'm gonna commit to taking the van out at least once a week to work out of just to explore San Diego, get out of the house and utilize the van. Honestly too, during the summer, I'm finding because this is the first time we were owning a van during the SoCal summer, during the SoCal heat, and we're realizing that it would be hard to boondock for us and for our comfortability in this heat because we also have two dogs, so they definitely need an area that is cool. So we have been looking during weekends, and the thing about Don's work too is he has to actually request weekends off in advance, otherwise he'll know kind of that week if he's off or not, and so it's already too late to book a RV resort. So we haven't been able to take the van out when we do know he's off during the weekend, and I look to book a spot, they're all taken, so it's been a challenge. But yeah, hopefully once this heat dies down, we'll be able to boondock and try some more isolated areas. That's kind of what I'm most excited about, just because I just kind of want to take in nature. So I'm looking around because everyone's like walking and driving around and biking and I feel a little weird. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna finish up maybe another hour of work here, show you guys around outside just to see where we parked, and give you another look at the view. <sighs> you look over there, that's Point Loma. And then Hotel Del Coronado is over that way. And then we got our van parked right here. We got another van, camper van rentals, travelers, auto. Look at that house, that house is crazy. The one we're parked next to as well. But here's our van. This is where we've been all morning. Oh, you could really feel the heat on this thing, all the heat absorbed. Hi, good morning. You know what? I just kind of wanted to check around. Do you do day passes? Um, yeah, we do. I mean, if you're trying to, so this is a campground. Yeah. And then that's the park. Okay. If you want to just hang out at the park, uh -huh. that's free. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what exactly? Is there, like, I, I have my laptop and I just kind of wanted to work out of my van. Oh, Is there anything to do? Isn't or? that the most beautiful yeah. thing to do? Okay, so we have a 15 minute sort of pass to kind of just look around um, amphitheater, campground. So I'm not able to park here, so I think we'll just kind of look around and maybe stop if we see anything cool and then find somewhere where we can work later. Let me switch you guys over. Okay, so this campground actually has this pavilion over here which you can rent out. I actually shot a wedding here. It's actually really nice as you're overlooking the reservoir. Okay, so what I've read is this is all kind of a one-way, but let me show you guys quickly um, one of the sites right here. So here's a sample site. You got your bathrooms right there. Let's just drive along here. Hello, doggies. Oh, I really like these. They're cool. are pretty awesome. Got a lot of tree coverage in some of them so you get some shade during the day if it's hot. Also it'd be cool because you can bring a tent and you know you can tent camp as well. Hi guys welcome back to another day of working out of our van for our 9 to 5 remote job. This is actually my third time taking the van out this week um, because I have some prior appointments um, yesterday and then also tomorrow I have a, a doctor's appointment so I won't be able to be working out of the van but so far, I've been really loving this experience. I did want to check out a local campground today. This is Sweetwater Regional Campgrounds, and 
I was able to get a 15 minute pass to drive around, kind of look at the sights. And there's also a park nearby, which I am parked at now. However, I think I want to find somewhere else to work out of. This, this is literally just a parking lot. So there is a spot close by that I want to check out. So let's head over there. All right, we found a parking by a park close to the area. And before we get started on our work day, I just wanted to kind of quickly talk about this Rux 70 liter pack slash storage container that Rux sent me. Thank you guys again. So I have been using this all week for our work out of our van for our nine to five and I have been loving it. I have been storing my gear in here. So let's just try to talk about what I love about this. First of all, aesthetically beautiful, it matches my van it matches my life it matches my aesthetic i just i'm in love with this color it also comes in black olive green and orange which if i do end up buying more i'm going to get certain colors for certain things so this will be my gear my equipment for my content and as you can see when we're at camping we can just leave it out and it looks great and probably color code the other things like maybe orange will be dishware or black will be RV related gear. If you have multiple Ruxes, they can actually stack and fit on top of each other even though they are lightweight material. There is also this cool little window right here so that you can see what gear you have in there. So, you know, if you have them stacked and you're trying to look for something specific, you can find it through looking here. They also provide you a customizable QR code where if you scan this, you can actually see what is in your container, which is awesome. Another thing I love about this lid is that if you need quick access, you can just fold it like that, grab what you need, and it goes back. That's very cool. So the lid also uses some sort of elastic mechanism where when you want to actually close it, you just put, pull that way. So you have these handy little straps to pull as well. So right now I have it secured here so that when you fold it in, it's not going to come off. But if you actually want to take the whole lid off, you have these straps right here. Just press that button. And then you have another one on the side here as well. So you can take it off and leave it if you want. But if you want the whole thing off, then you do the same thing here. And this lid comes off. And the cool thing about this lid is you can actually place it somewhere and sit because it's padded. So you have a little padded seat. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. You can just sit down and you got a padded seat. And if you want it more comfortable, you just double it up and sit. Awesome. The materials for this are also all weather resistant, so you can hose it down when you get home if it's dirty or if something spills in here, like it did the other day. I put my water bottle in here and it leaked a little, and I was basically able to clean it up really easily. In the bottom, you have this little rubberized material that is water resistant, leak proof. This bottom is also the sturdiest part of the unit so that it can hold a lot of weight. Also, when you get delivered your rucks, you have these little plastic side things. The best way I could describe it is, you know those little plastic things that you used to slap on your wrist? That's kind of how it is. So if you can see right here, these kind of bend, so this is collapsible. Let's say you reached your campground, you emptied everything in here and you don't need this until you leave, or you come home from a trip, you empty it and you want to store it away. All you got to do is kind of go like this. And then it packs up right there. And you have all these comp compression straps that you can tighten it down so it gets even more compact. And then when you're ready to go, you can rock and roll. So yeah, I really like this container if you guys are in the market for one. It's more on the pricey side, but it's definitely worth it for everything that it is. And just the quality of the materials. Again, like I said, I have an Action Packer by Rubbermaid, which is this cooler sized sort of container storage unit and just takes up a lot of space in our garage, even when it's not in use. So I highly recommend giving this a look. I mean, look how light it is. This is empty right now. So light, but so versatile and strong and will protect your gear. Give this a look guys if you are in the market for some storage containers, even if it's just for camping, not necessarily an RV or van. So yeah, if you guys are interested, give the website a look. It has more in-depth details about everything, so highly recommend guys. Thanks again, Rux.
All right, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys where I'm parked for today. You have all this beautiful trees right here. Too bad it's not closer, that way you can get some of that shade. All good, we have our awning, and I'm gonna be doing most of my work in the van, so here's the parking. Yep, and if you head that way, or also the other way, there's just a bunch of little trails that you can take. Mountain biking, horseback riding, running, walking, hiking, all that stuff. QR Fit Trail. There is a pond if you walk further down. This is called Morrison Pond. And then this tree, actually during Christmas they put ornaments on some of these trees and it looks super cute so I did my best friend's Christmas cards here. I will insert a picture. It was so cute and just really different from other Christmas cards that I've seen. But yeah, let's get to work. There's a bunch of mods I want to do to the van. I eventually want to take out this ladder, put another rack on this side. And then with that ladder gone, I want to put a permanent ladder on the side over here. There's a company called Owl Vans that has this really cool ladder system that you can attach right here. That way it gives us access to the roof whenever we need to clean it or dust off the solar panels. And then we'll also be able to get another rack, like I said, on that side and place maybe a storage box or levelers or... I'm not sure yet, but that's kind of the goal. All right guys, we are done with the workday. I'm gonna head home now. Just some final thoughts about working out of my van for my nine to five remote job. I actually really loved it. The only thing though is that it was really hot this week. We literally had a heat wave, so it's probably not the best time to try this out. But yeah, really loved the experience. I also got to kind of get a little taste of what it feels like to have to look for parking and find areas where there's less people. So for all of you that are doing van life 100%, I envy you, I applaud you, you guys are freaking awesome. I know on YouTube van life is huge and you kind of get the, the best parts of it but in reality it can be a struggle day to day trying to figure out where to go so yeah I, am, I understand just a small portion of what you guys go through so it's definitely an adventure but also can be very difficult at times. With that said I'm going to close out the vlog here. Again if you guys are interested in a container storage system unit check out Rux. It's just a really durable easy to use a really lightweight storage system system so yeah with that said as always thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you can try to choose happy over sad today and i will catch you in the next video bye everyone